Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, today's um, video and maybe a tutorial in the end is about um, the basic process of paint pouring and the materials I use. I have had so many requests of people asking me uh, on Instagram and YouTube, especially my subscribers from India uh, who cannot get hold of the materials that I'm using. Um, have requested for this so this is very very basic and I'm going to try to tell you uh, what works and what doesn't work for me uh, so for me I found that the basic things uh, in a paint pour is mainly um, the consistency or the quality of the paints that you use uh, so paint pouring is just um, done with acrylic uh, acrylic paints so the paints that I use um, for my uh, pores, uh, they are uh, the golden fluid acrylics and so this is the golden fluid acrylic uh, fluid paints that I'm using and of course you can use any uh, acrylic paints you know the, the ones that cost just a pound or just over from you know just uh, like ready children's ready mix paint like this one here so usually for my backgrounds or if I'm using a white or a ivory black I use the craft mix because it does the same job the only the only good thing about the golden fluid acrylics is that they are very highly pigmented and you only need very little to uh, you know get that full color effect and so you don't use a lot of this and you can see how tiny this bottle is and it, I, I literally you use only a few drops in your paint pores and of course for uh, the uh, medium the pouring medium you can use uh, a liquitex or uh, golden fluid acrylics pouring mediums um, but I find them a bit pricey and also liquitex you can't really you can get it at Hobbycraft, yes you can, uh, but the Golden Fluid Acrylics, you can buy them only online here in the UK because I, I haven't come across a supplier here in the UK who does uh, Golden Fluid Acrylics because they are from the States, so, uh, and that as well, they are expensive. So, um, what um, most paint pourers on, on YouTube or Instagram or people who do the paint pouring use uh, something called uh, flow troll flow troll over troll uh, this you can buy very easily on eBay or Amazon and I think it costs about 21 or 23 pounds uh, per one liter as you as it is so this is what it is and and it's liquid so you you shake the product really vigorously before you add it because they, there are some lumps in here, something fall into your um, your mix. So this is the pouring medium and this is what creates cells. So sometimes or most times people do add silicone oil. Now this is the silicone oil that a lot of subscribers and a lot of my followers from India asks where they can buy it from. It's the treadmill oil, so usually used with or for um, you know treadmills working out and stuff. So uh, this is uh, this treadmill silicone oil that you this can easily be bought from eBay or Amazon as well. I will put the link down uh, below in the description box for this and the flow troll. Uh, if you're interested in doing paint pores and creating those lovely beautiful cells and you can see I've only used very little because you only add a few drops in in your paint pour to create that lovely effect uh, so if you're not able to get silicone oil uh, this is also about 10 or 12 pounds for this large bottle but you can get smaller ones for a less price and um, the uh, other thing, the alternative that you can use for uh, cells in your paint pores is any hair serum. So this is the one I've used uh, and I just picked this up from 
a hair and beauty salon here in London and it was for 99 pence or something and the ingredient in here in the hair serum that gives you the cells is dimethicone so <clears throat> excuse me the dimethicone is uh, the most uh, common ingredient in the hair serum so you can pick up any hair serum uh, that is for humidity control or frizz free hair or you know and add a couple of drops again of that in your paint pores and you will get those cells you probably get more cells with hair serum than you get with silicone oil and of course if you cannot get flow troll pouring medium or you can't get um, the liquitex or golden fluid acrylics you can make your own and how you make your own is you use PVA glue and water so it's two parts PVA glue and one part water make it into a like a runny honey a, a little runnier than honey consistency and that should work wonders as well in your uh, paint pores so th the I think the most economical way of making your own or using pouring medium is making your own which is PVA glue just regular PVA glue any you know kids craft glue will do and it's quite cheap you can get it up for 99p or a pound or get a maximum two pounds this depends on the size so add that with water and that will give you a lovely pouring medium as well the good thing about flow troll uh, is that you don't need to add any water in here and sometimes even without silicone or ser hair serum you will get the cells because it's got some kind of um, you know activating ingredients in this uh, flow troll that creates that effect and I think it is usually used in like you know hardware stores and all that it's sold for this purpose to create that effect or conditioning effect to the paint yes yeah, so that is the basic uh, you know pouring uh, process but um, I'm going to show you next on if you just hold on I'm going to show you uh, the right amounts that I use and of course if you've got a large canvas you're going to have to use a uh, large quantities and that's sometimes where I struggle because I don't want to waste the paint because in paint pouring you do uh, waste a lot of paint and you do tend to uh, have a lot of falling off the canvas so I try to avoid that and sometimes I tend to mix a little less than what is required for the, for the size of canvas I have so just bear with me and keep watching so let me know if you have any um, you know questions or thoughts or any advice I will be so happy to answer those and also if you haven't subscribed already please do and um, like and share this video and of course watch my previous videos on all the techniques I use and I, I love creating different kind of effects I am uh, always experimenting so I my art is very um, varied and very different um, so I experiment with other stuff that I can do when I've done a paint pour because paint pour is just a paint pour and then what else so yes yeah, sometimes the effects are great you can just leave it that way but then sometimes you find I find it a little boring that you know it's just paint you know poured onto a canvas but I can do a lot more and add my own creativity on top of that canvas so um, yeah that's what my channel is about so if you enjoy this uh, do subscribe and do like and of course share and I'll be back for some more so don't go anywhere keep watching there's lots more to come so you're gonna need uh, the golden fluid acrylic so any acrylic paint that you want to use um, and I've got a ready mix white paint you can use that as well um, or for creating cells I'm using silicone oil or you can use any uh, hair serum that has dimethicone you're gonna need some disposable cups and some stirring sticks and of course uh, over troll or flow troll if you have that or you can make your own pouring medium with PVA glue and water so guys this is the uh, pouring uh, mixture I'm going to show you that I use so I've got my disposable cup here um, I'm going to add my paints with my pouring medium and I'll show you how much I add according to uh, the size of the canvas so 
I haven't got a smaller canvas today but I'm going to show you anyway on uh, the canvas I have and then I'll probably uh, work on the rest of the canvas with something else but just for this video I'm going to show you uh, how much I put into the cups. Okay so that's the flow troll and I said you gotta mix it vigorously and then So about that much should be good enough and of course if you're also, um, this is per colour that you want to use and you're going to um, have the same uh, amount if you're doing PVA and uh, water uh, but this is Floetrol so that's how much I've added into my cup and we're going to go with uh, magenta golden fluid acrylics also give those a mix and you will see how many drops I add one two three four five six six or seven drops should be good enough for this mix and um, then I'm going to add in here I'm going to give this a mix first look at the color coming up even though I added just uh, two, six or seven drops of it. Of course, you can add more um, if you feel like you, you know, you want it to be more vibrant. And you know, make sure you get all the flow troll. Mix it really well. Yeah, and you can see. The consistency is just a little runnier than honey. Uh, in this one I'm going to use silicone oil and I'm going to put two or three drops in here. One, two, three. And then you, when you add the silicone oil you need to mix it really slowly so that's good enough for, 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 for that one. So I have a a blank canvas here that I'm going to just show you a close-up on, on what the cells look like uh, with Floetrol and the silicone treadmill oil. Add some white paint at the background and I'm going to mix all the colors into one cup. So I'm going to add my colors in And I'll give it a, a little mix. And I'm going to drop it here. And just let them let the colors fall down a bit. And I haven't used a lot because this is just for showing you guys the basic stuff. Or the basic process on um, on paint pouring. So you can see already there's cells here, and the colours are so beautiful. And if I move the canvas, it's going to blend in with the background. That's the white. and create this beautiful cell effect. So if I let it run down a bit. Uh, 
And the more, more you move your canvas about and stretch the cells, the bigger and larger the cells become. So really it's up to you and how you want to uh, create your art piece. You can also use your stick and kind of help the paint flow. run it through so I see how this lacing uh, the background white when it blends in with the uh, paints that have fallen on to the the, the white it causes a lacing effect which is what you see right here if I zoom in this bit here which is the lacing effect and but look how beautiful that looks and it's very simple it's just the flow troll with the golden acrylics and the dimethicone or the silicon oil that creates this effect which is called paint pouring and I'll show you down below here this is with that when I took the stick down and that causes this effect here so really you're open to anything with paint pouring it's very very simple and easy to do and you can get lots of great lovely effects doing this paint pouring and there was no silicone oil or um, in my um, white, it's just plain with just water in it to dilute it. And I'm going to just add a few ribbons to show you what happens. And just random ribbons of the same um, mix that I had before and if I move the canvas about you can see that the cells have formed right there So guys, thank you for watching that little um, process that I showed you. That's all there is to it. Uh, if you have the access to Floetrol, Dimethicone, Silicone, Golden Fluid Acrylics or any good branded acrylics, you are able to do this kind of paint pouring um, technique. So do leave me a comment guys, let me know what you think. Thank you as always for being part of my madness. Thanks so much again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.